everybody, and welcome to another Tuesday night of the Celebrity Creators. Brian, how you doing tonight? I am doing fantastic, my friend. How are you? Awesome, awesome. I'm so excited about our guest tonight. But before we get started, I want to tell everybody a little bit about my dear friend and business partner, Brian Kelly. Brian has over 24 years of software engineering experience. He has, um, as you can see, all the beautiful graphics, the show. He does a lot of behind the stuff. I'm going to say nerdy stuff, and he allows me to say that. It's not by my choice. He loves being a tech nerd. He's fabulous at it. In addition to that, Brian is very adept at social media, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and we've had a few contests along the way. Some of you may be familiar with that. Um, that's how we actually got started on social media. I'll let him have this one. He did beat me on Twitter, but we're kind of neck and neck there right now. Brian also successfully put together a phenomenal Ning site with over 50,000 Twitter followers and recently sold that for a tidy sum. Brian also is a speaker. We're working on a book together that we hope to have out in the next few months. Um, he also is <laughs> very adept at working the show each week, all the magic behind that you don't see. Before I go on any further, I just want to say, Brian, thank you for sharing another fantastic Tuesday night with two awesome people tonight. We have two. I'm going to turn it over to you. All right, back at you. And you, you always surprise me with something new. You got to stop that because I don't have as much time to put new stuff together. Anyway, I'd oh like to introduce everyone to this fabulous human being to my left, to your right, if you're watching on the celebritycreators.com. Kathy has an absolute wealth of experience in the world of business and marketing, and a true absolute wealth. I said it twice, I know, and there's a reason. She has over 25 years experience as an operations and sales manager at a Fortune 500 company. In fact, her corporate career ended about six years ago as she retired by choice, as she decided to pursue her passion by enlisting her over 20 years of experience as an internet and network marketing entrepreneur so she could work from home. And I gotta tell you, she's incredible at both of those. In fact, she's been an extremely successful affiliate marketer with experience dating back to the early 90s and also a highly successful network marketer uh, that going back to the mid 80s and that's actually where she and I originally met was during a network marketing event. Uh, most recently, she has become a highly successful social media strategist. She also has experience as a professional speaker and as she mentioned, we're currently penning a book together. We're pretty excited about that. Kathy also holds designations as a power seller and a top rated seller on eBay. And we always say she has her, uh, certificates on her wall right in front of her eyes. I've seen them, I've been there uh, right to prove it. And they are, they are authentic. They have the seal and everything. She is extremely well connected. In fact, she's responsible for bringing most of the fine guests you see on our show week in and week out. With that, I'd like to welcome my dear friend and co-creator of this very show, Kathy Stover. Yay! Thank you very much. You know, you kind of added a few things there tonight, too. So you always have a few <laughs> things up your sleeve. And I forgot the affiliate marketing thing for you, too. No problem. See, that's what happens when I shoot off the top of my head. <laughs> but bef bef before we continue to flower ourselves here, we want to get at the exciting guests that we have at hand. I want to tell you a little bit about them. It, we're, and who I'm talking about is actually Sue and Steve Susie. Sue has been in radio for 20, had been in radio for 22 years and she was really good at it. But the industry bounced her from format to format until she was creating canned shows and that lacked any spontaneity. And I can tell you, I've gotten to know her. She is very, very spontaneous and fun. Steve was a professional piano player for 30 years who loved music and I believe he's still banging the keys a little bit. But the touring in the late nights in smoky casinos was getting uh, rather stale. One afternoon, the two of them sat down in front of a webcam and they decided decided to declare their dream to think big. Well, we had a little hiccup. Here's behind. We will try to bring Steve folks set out to fulfill that. And in just two short years, they attracted enough online business to put a six-figure income in their pockets. Just two short years. Today, Sue and Steve are the preeminent experts in teaching others to start a business, grow it, and make a great living using things like blogs, videos, email lists, Twitter, 
Facebook, and YouTube. They are creating fabulous success stories by coaching students literally all over the world and they're having a blast doing it. Sue is the tech whiz expert at um, all manners of computer programs, online tools, special applications, and the intricacies of the most popular social media websites. Everything an online entrepreneur really needs to know. Steve is the ultimate coach, giving you emotional support, inspiration, and motivation, and the occasional butt kicking you often need to start a new business. I would like to introduce our guest, Sue and Steve Susie. How are you guys doing? Hey, We're awesome. Doing great. Awesome, awesome. How are you today? This awesome. Is awesome. Hey, Kathy, no, we can't, no, real quick, we can't Kathy, we lost your video over there. Yeah, we, uh, we don't see either of you. Oh, we've got, we've we've got, got Brian. Brian. But we have your audio just fine, Kathy. Oh, okay. Yep, we got your audio. Well, that sounds good. That's always a good thing. Yes. <laughs> we're having fun with technology tonight. My goodness. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, Sue and Steve, once again, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, really appreciate well, it. You well, two are, have done a lot we've so, seen in the internet and video yeah. community. Now, you both have fantastic backgrounds, as uh, Kathy just alluded to with uh, your intro there. Uh, would each of you mind sharing a little bit more about yourselves uh, with us? And perhaps maybe, you know, ladies first, we can start with Sue. Sure. Um, well, yes, as Kathy mentioned, I was in radio for many years, um, a job that I, uh, well, a career that I absolutely loved. Um, it was tons of fun and, you know, it just got to the point where I kind of had gone as far as I could um, and I just, I wanted more in my life, you know, I just, I started in radio when I was 14 and, you know, it was a lot of fun, but it just wasn't getting the results, the kind of lifestyle that I wanted. So um, that's when Steve and I kind of decided that we were going to switch directions a little bit and... Um, a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> kind of pack things in as we once knew it and uh, start our venture and adventure online. You're right. awesome. So, so my turn. I, uh, yeah. like Kathy said, was a piano player for 30 years. I still, in fact, just did a gig last weekend. It was re really quite awesome. Um, the, what happened for me is I kept watching what was going on with the music business and realizing that there were, there seemed to be fewer and fewer jobs available and there were seemed to be fewer and fewer records selling. So that it was kind of the writing was on the wall and, and I had started watching a few internet marketing guys like Frank Kern and, and just paying attention to how that could be applied to selling almost anything and you know kind of brought Sue into having a look at it and then um, then it, at one point we just started making videos together we started making YouTube videos together and it turned out to be really fun and uh, we were in a small mastermind group with a bunch of guys and they kept uh, telling us that we had a certain kind of charisma and that we seemed to be really authentic and uh, which were kind of buzzwords for both of us. I mean, Sue certainly has the charisma thing from being in radio all the time. Plus, you know, if you know her, she has it. Uh, people say that I have it as well. But we started making these videos, and it was just, it wasn't very long before we were getting hundreds of views on, you know, our beginning videos. And so we just kept doing it because it was fun. Uh, and of course, uh, well, I think we always looked at it as a way of, a new future for us. Like I mean, there was yeah. always well, and a new. I mean, a new way to make a living too. Right as soon as we started doing those videos, it was with the intention that well, we said in our first yeah, video, the first, very first video, <laughs> we, said, we said we're said, gonna we're gonna become multimillionaires online and, and teach everybody how we did it. Yeah. So first, figure out how to do it, do it, and then and then teach how we did it. So the the plan was always to eventually make money from it, but mm -hmm. it was just kind of a hobby for a while until we figured out. And what now to do it's next. just a matter of scaling it. It's all happening. That's awesome. Well, you know, Sue and Steve, many of our listeners are entrepreneurial business people. So they're going to be very interested in how and why you left what you were doing behind to seek what it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we both hit our ceilings of uh, what we could make in our um, careers. And, you know, I mean, and, and again, we were both doing very well, but 
very well in radio and music is really not enough to live the kind of lifestyle we've got three kids and you know we wanted um, a lot more for our family than we were able to to do and have um, so it was just a it was you know it was a quite a process really over a number of years just seeing really where both the radio business and the music business were going and just kind of thinking you know we have to find something else that is going to work long term and something that you know it does it it does really tie in what we do online really does tie in what we've both always done anyway i mean we're used to being in front of people and talking and um you know entertaining so it was it was kind of a natural progression but yeah. But we also made a, a clear decision that we were going to work together on something. Yeah. Which was, you know, the, the start of, uh, I think the decision was made a few years ago, and then this thing opened up that avenue. Then we just waltzed through the door yeah. and away we went. But it was really like, we, you know, we, we have been kind of living on the edge with this whole thing, and, and um, it took a huge leap of faith for us to say, like, let's, you know, yeah. let's just throw away our regular jobs and, you know, get rid of the only thing we've ever done and and try something new so yeah I mean it, it, I think most entrepreneurs know that you've got to take risks sometimes and you know sometimes they don't always work out but then there's always like you know new avenues that you can take right so there's always something good around the corner right well you know what that, that, that's absolutely beautiful and, and it's exciting for Brian and I because you two are prime examples of the kind of people that we love having on the show because of the fact, well, first of all, you both have had very interesting and fabulous pre-careers, if you will, but all, always, I'm going to guess, had some kind of entrepreneurial spirit lighting something going on with each of you, um, especially for you to make a decision like that to just, you know, go into um, a totally different realm. But mm -hmm. the fact that you took your years of ex experience and came online doing something totally different offers fabulous hope for other entrepreneurs out there that are kind of struggling or going geez I'm not so sure if I can do it so thanks for being a great example for what you do yeah kudos You're welcome. You're more than welcome for that. <laughs> and especially the way you went about doing it by you know basically quitting your careers your respective careers that's a daunting task and nothing like something like that to light a fire under your rear end to get it going I, I can imagine well yeah I mean that's a great point you know like it's easy enough to say you're gonna do something like that yeah um, or or you're gonna get uh, like say you're gonna keep your job but you're you're going to you know dabble in the internet a little bit and try to get sort of um, a side income coming but until you really take that leap and commit you know in a, in a way that we did uh, I mean you're just not gonna get nearly as much done and you're just it's just not gonna happen as quickly for you by sort of hanging on to that safety net yeah, I think that's a really big deal. Like that, that was what was just occurring to me. You know, when you have to make that leap of faith, you make the jump before you know you actually have wings. You grow the wings on the way down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, well, yeah, that's a a very significant piece because a leap of faith is exactly that. You have to have faith, and faith is is kind of a weird thing to um, to describe to other people because people can't understand what your particular faith is about. They only have their own version of what that is. But for Sue and I, I mean, whether we call it God, universe, or the source, we have a very deep faith that we are going to be taken care of. Like something is always going to happen. And uh, I mean, we just, that faith has been tested, but at the same time, it's never gone away. And I can't tell somebody else that yes you gotta believe you gotta have that kind of faith but I don't know how else you get through the moments of not knowing what's coming next without having faith so um, if you have a faith muscle get it exercised <laughs> I love it yeah, it often takes that leap of faith just to just to do it a lot of people you know it's, it's an unnerving yeah. it can be very unnerving if you've never done it before but mm -hmm. Uh, that's one way that entrepreneurs become entrepreneurs is just by, like you say, take that leap of faith. I'm curious, yeah. you guys have a show, uh, the Sue and Steve show. Uh, you, you record that via video. How did you guys come up with that concept? Uh, well, <laughs> we were just kind of winging it. We just, I mean, it, 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 it all started in our kitchen with a conversation. Steve wanted to do videos. Um, 
about the music business and uh, and you and know that, I wanted to interview music experts and stuff and the truth of the matter is I kind of chickened out and, and so we were just talking one day in the kitchen and said you know what if we did videos together you know then it would be easier and and you know I was totally comfortable doing videos and and uh, interviewing yeah so that was how we started as far I mean and then you know the first couple of weeks we didn't have a name for it and and then uh, we just thought, oh, let's just call it the Sue and Steve. It wasn't like it wasn't like we sat and planned and planned and planned, and then you know came up with this whole concept of the Sue and Steve show. It was like we started because that, I mean, you know, I to me like that's the best piece of advice I can give anybody is just start, like just do something. So that's what we did. We just started doing videos. We didn't really have a plan. We just kept doing them, and then it, and, and then it just kind of morphed. Now the Sue and Steve show is kind of a double entendre as well because it's. We don't really have like a weekly show like you guys do. Um, the Sue and Steve show is what we call is is what all of our branding is. But it's also Sue and Steve show, as in the verb. You stuff like we show you all kinds of things. You know, we do tutorials and training and that kind of thing. So it's about showing you things as well. And the ah. show aspect is just kind of like the videos are just kind of here and there. We 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 do various. Um, different series and that kind of thing, but but as we don't do like a regular right. show. Although we, you know we were doing a regular Mondays thing for a while, and we're probably going to we're in the midst of starting up a kind well, of. Well, that's what I mean, but it's yet. not a. It, we but do it's different not like series. A, <laughs> it's not always the Sue and Steve show. You know what? I was trying to have a, a thing of can can dancers. Can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to tell you something really funny. You know what? I remember. When and this was a long time ago, you were like cutting up a pineapple. Oh, that's our most watched video to date. That <laughs> that is when I and I do not know. I don't know if it was because, and it's been quite a while ago. I I, I don't a long time ago, and I don't know if it's like I came across you guys and I was checking you out, and then I came upon the pineapple video. By the way, that was really cool because I was not cutting the pineapple correctly, See? but I was absolutely <laughs> amazed at the amount of hits that YouTube video got. That was yeah. incredible. Yeah, mm -hmm. Well, like I said, that was our most watched video to date, and it really has nothing to do with our niche or market, right? right? But it was just something that, like I said to Steve one day, because we were just trying to think of different videos, and I said, you know, nobody knows how to cut a pineapple like it's you well, look at had, this thing we had gotten you, advice from was, was it Maria Andros or somebody like that about title your blog posts or title your videos videos with how to do something mm -hmm. and how to cut a pineapple was a perfect well, it's example. Just, it, yeah it's just something that I knew that people would be searching for because it's just one of those mysteries like you know it's like you look at a pineapple and like what do you do with it right <laughs> I just I, I just had a feeling that that was gonna be a good one but yeah it's like 20,000 hits on that or something it's funny well you know um, you guys were doing what you were doing before and you sat down together and you talked about putting together the videos and starting the program to show people how to do stuff but what really prompted you to come to that conclusion to do the videos to uh, put together the how to's and to show people how they could become successful in their businesses it was a it was a, a quite a progression really because when we started the videos there, like I said there really was no plan it was like let's just get ourselves out there and kind of see what it morphs into and maybe you know maybe we'll get a bit of a following and and then we'll figure something out to do like as far as you know how are we going to monetize this at some point there really wasn't a plan but um, about six months in Marie Andros who Steve was mentioning was running a, a contest to win a spot into her social media traffic blueprint um, program so like a program and, and it just seemed like oh this is exactly what we need we need to learn how to well how to really work the internet and how to make money with it and social right. media like we're just learning all that stuff and um, we had been f kinda following her for a bit right and uh, when I heard about the contest, I went running downstairs and I said, Steve, that there's, the con there's this contest on and we're going to win it. Yeah. Like, there was just, that, it it was, was so obvious <laughs> from exactly the description of what Maria was looking for that we really had a good chance to win it. Because by then, we'd already had a, you know, a bit of a head of steam going with our, 
kind of our mastermind group that, who had been telling us that you know that we're doing a really great job with these videos. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it so, felt very, very easy to do it. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of went in into that, you know, really. Um, not being cocky, just you know, being uh, like you know, intending to win. Right? Yeah. We're just like we're gonna win this. So we did. We entered it. We won it. And and then we did this program. And I mean, you know, we we learned a ton in the program for one thing. And we were like, the thing is, is you know, you can you can be given this information and you can take the information and you can take action and implement it and actually do the things that the person teaching is going to tell you know tell you what to do or you know you can show up once in a while and you can say oh yeah I'll, I'll get to that and you can put it off and I mean that's what so many of us do but sure. we were there you know well, you we did were, everything you did uh, every, like I was just like every eye did all I was like the teacher's pet if I could have you know like I just I was there and I implemented and I did it all and you know we, we went through all the steps and then but like the biggest thing that we got out of it was we thought you know this is what we should be doing. Like, we should be, do a program like this, you know, where we're doing webinars and we're teaching people stuff that we're learning and like just like she was doing. So it was um, not only like a, a, a really great program for us to be learning all the, these different skills, but just to give us this idea of how to do a program and a membership site. So that's when, that's when you know it was okay. Now we have we have an idea of what we can do, and you know, a way to eventually make money with what we're doing. This is a great story because there are absolutely, there are so many similarities between what you two have done and what Kathy and I have done. Are you I bet, sensing yeah. that, Kathy? I mean, it's, it's, it's kind yeah. of scary because you started out, <laughs> we didn't know really where we were going with this show and it just sort of yeah. took, took its own path. Morphed into yeah. what it is today, yeah. And we, we help grow this show by attending events and learning from people like you're talking about and you know to further advance our business but before we go on <clears throat> real quick excuse me I'd like to direct our viewers to take a look and find the picture it's kind of like where's Waldo but it should be below us right now of Steve and Kathy it's the ones where they're not moving they're kind of still and they're looking all handsome and beautiful respectively Steve and Kathy Steve, oh sorry Steve Sue and Steve, Steve. Sorry. <laughs> Wait a sec. <laughs> Honey, Whoops. there's something i got to tell you. <laughs> oh, this is not the time. <laughs> oh, what a perfect time to, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, be sure to look for Sue and Steve beneath us. Uh, don't do this right now, but after the show, click on either one of their noses. Either one will work, and that will take you directly to their Facebook page. In addition, you'll see a banner beneath that that will take you to their business webpage. So be sure to click on that after the pay or after the show once again, uh, and yeah. you can go get more information about them. They have some fantastic information, a running blog with updated content all the time. Um, excellent, excellent stuff. We're really happy to have gotten to meet and learn what you two do because it's right down our alley, obviously, with all the video and. Uh, then the teachings that you provide it's fantastic and we appreciate you and again give you kudos for doing what you do and uh, by the way i was touching my nose and pointing down at the banner you just can't see me <laughs> yeah. i can't see you i know we are having some video difficulties and i yeah. swear we were on a half hour before the show and she was there we could see her it's all perfect. of her and she was moving and now she's just like a frozen statue <laughs> but at least we can hear and that's the most important part of any uh type of value-added uh, show is that you can at least get the information across. We would love to see Kathy live, of course. We're still trying. Um, she's probably wearing out her mouse button on the other side trying to come back, but <laughs> yeah, we I just am. go with the flow. It's technology at its finest. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, real quick, we just got a question from our buddy who was on our last show, uh, Jason Nast. He said uh, he wants to know where that pineapple video is. I think you could probably just go to YouTube and search for it, but yeah, you know what? If you search how to cut how the words how to cut a pineapple, it comes up about number three. Oh, cool. Number four. Nice. And then it will say Sue and Steve show on the title or somewhere around there as well. Right. And right you on. can all go, always just Google Sue and Steve show, and you'll eventually find that. Fantastic. Well, now, Sue and Steve, we somewhere have. Somewhere on Google. Yeah, so <laughs> Ryan or well, you'll eventually there find the video. Yeah, still here, Kathy. <laughs> okay, well, it was like you disappeared on us there yeah we had another hiccup we're having fun with our technology tonight my goodness must be sunspots that we didn't hear about um yeah. <laughs> but moving on uh, i'm sure that by now you guys have been doing this for a little while uh, that you've probably implemented some strategies uh, i just wanted to know are there any easy strategies or steps to follow uh so that 
to get to the point where you are to enjoy the success that you two have built? And if so, which do you find work best? Oh, well, um, do you want to take this one first? Or I'm, no, I'm go kinda, ahead. I'll just I'm kind of jumping in there, uh, jumping okay. in here all the time. Um, well, it really is the combination of all your different real estate online. So starting with a blog, you know, um, a WordPress blog, um, having a YouTube channel. Um, if you are, you know, we think it's great to do videos no matter what, especially if you'll, you're willing to get on, on camera. Um, although, you know, even if you do like an Animoto video or some other, you use some other kind of tool, but just get some videos done for sure. So YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, you know, all the social media. Um, and like, like I said, like just getting going on it. So getting some videos done, get, you know, working social media. And I mean, we started, I, I remember when we had our, you know, the first view of our first video and it was extremely exciting. Yeah. And, um, and the first comment. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, it starts very small and it builds and builds and builds. Um, I think the, the biggest technique, and it's actually something that we're learning from Kathy is, uh, you know, as far as kind of new techniques go is Facebook advertising, um, which is something we're just starting to dabble in. Um, because we've, you know, we've really built our following organically over the last few years. Uh, we've we've created um, various free products. Uh, we did a our, our biggest thing that we did was called the Millionaire Affair, where we interviewed people every day for two weeks about their and they were actually we got some huge celebrities on actually so. Um, that was really what put us on the map and again that was like you know that was a five month project of putting this thing together that we weren't um, making any money money off of because it was free to get in um, it was completely about building our following in our community and you know we did really well with that um, but again like it's all been just very organic over the last few years and I think like if you, when you, if you really want to take it to the next level I think Facebook advertising is the way to go with that I don't um, and I'm hoping that you guys can hear me because you're both frozen now. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to pretend that I can oh, see you, okay. but I can't. <clears throat> yeah, we can hear you. Oh, okay. good. Okay, good. good. And as far as, you know, from my perspective, it, you really need to define what it is you want. And it, you can't just define it in terms of, okay, I want to have a million dollars and I want to have it on this date. If you can define how you want to help people, that'll make a big difference. If you can look at your life from the perspective of if I help enough people I'll have all the wealth or abundance that I want to have right that I want to experience so when you're in the middle of defining what you want and you just let it go and you take small steps every day it I mean it may appear that within two years you know we've we've created the six-year business but it didn't feel like that in month two um, and it didn't really get there till about the end of you know uh, halfway into year two that's when it felt like okay we're on to something and it started to really work but yeah you just keep taking small steps keep uh, being open-minded and I gotta say from my perspective I mean I don't know how other people do this thing but I started watching all these internet marketing guys and one in particular was uh, Jim Rohn uh, Jim Rohn and and one one of the things he said that really stuck with me that of course resonated with me because I was already doing it which is a lot like how life will be for anybody uh, we notice the things that we're most attracted to or that we want to be like he just said make working on yourself your highest priority hmm. and I love that idea I love uh, expanding my relationships with people I love expanding my sphere of influence I love learning new stuff and I love sharing it so I make a point of uh, communicating with you know as many people as I can every day and just saying things that make them feel good and when I am doing that lots of other excellent stuff just keeps coming up just keeps showing up excellent advice yeah that's awesome because I think that the more we are to ourselves the more that we can be to others mm -hmm. so that was yeah. very well put love it well, you know, now since you're talking about Jim Rohn, that's somebody that you obviously followed. Um, and Brian and I have some individuals that we've connected with um, throughout 
our process. How important would you guys say that mentors are oh. in what it is that we do? Yeah, I was just thinking that as you were talking. I mean, we've actually worked, we've had um, private coaching for most of our uh, journey adventure here and um, about a year of that, yeah, just, just about a year uh, has been with John Asaraf, who mm -hmm. was in, in the movie The Secret and um, was somebody that, you know, was pretty darn exciting to, to be able to get to work with. Um, we actually interviewed him as part of that millionaire affair that I was talking about. And so, I mean, it, like it started for us with that Maria Andros program. Um, after that, we hired our first coach, was, which was a, a young guy from Australia named John Anderson, and he's like a marketing whiz, and he was the guy who really helped us put our first program and, and together and launch it. And then, um, and then it was after that that we started working with John Asaraf. So, um, you know, mentoring, coaching, somebody to learn from, it's like there are, there's so much opportunity. Um, oh, Janet Becker is another another uh, consultant that we are working with. She's from Australia as well that we've um, you know learned so much from. Um, it just it opens up this whole new world when you start learning from somebody that's already done what you've done, that's already been successful um, at what it is that you're trying to learn. If you just you know if you just go online and you try to learn everything yourself for free, which is another thing. Of course, there's so much great free information, but if you invest in your business, um, I mean, you take it that much more seriously too. So, sure. um, you know, absolutely finding people to, to learn from and get mentored by and coached by is, you know, it's been huge for us. Absolutely. Well, I think, yeah, I think one of the concepts about mentors that is really, really clear and, and, and you can't know it until you actually have a mentor is that you won't know you don't know what you don't know right? you have no idea of the immense amount of information you don't know when you're getting started and for a lot of people they just kind of assume that they're going to be able to handle everything or they're going to be able to learn everything they need to do and so mentors have uh, generally speaking a way of zeroing in on your weak spots and your strengths and helping you handle each of those but it, you know, for me, that the mentors thing has been an amazing thing. Without mentors, I'd, a lot of this business wouldn't even exist because most people can't learn fast enough without getting information funneled into them to handle all the nitpicky problems that come up. Even you know, like even today on our our, our webinar with you guys today, um, this on our show with you guys today, like we have had webinars that were just crazy funky from technology. So we've learned to grin and bear it and it's really not that yeah. big a deal. But for somebody who's just getting started, a lot of the time they might need a mentor to hold their hand and just say, hey, you know what? Technology happens. It's not that big a deal. And your next show will probably be problem free. Excellent. Well, you know, um, since we're talking about mentors and maybe you guys have mentored Mean Gene, but um, I'm I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman, but anyway, they said that they really like Sue and Steve's million dollar mind map. The eight steps are simple. They want to know if you can explain it more. And then Jason Nast is asking where to find it on the Facebook page. Um, he said he it says you can get it, but he couldn't find it. He's talking oh, about shoot. the eight that's steps. not good. Um, well, I can tell you to get the million dollar mind map. Now that's uh, you know, and I was talking about free products. That's been a great one for us. Um, if you go to the million dollar mind map, so not just million dollar mind map, but but the the million dollar mind map dot com, um, that's where it's available. As far as I mean, those are uh, there were eight steps in there, Kathy, that we did, and and as far as sort of elaborating on that, I don't I don't know how much you want us to go into that because it's it's it might take us more time than we've got. Well, then that um, sounds like it might be a good thing for them to just connect to your link and yeah, uh, absolutely, right. Okay. So well, yeah, if you um, sorry, what was the person's name? Um, mean Jean uh, was saying that they wanted it explained more, and then Jason was asking uh, where to find it on the Facebook page. Okay. So right. yeah, both of you can contact us through Facebook, um, through our Sue and Steve show page. Like you said, click on our noses. And contact us, and you know we're happy to answer your questions there as well. Awesome! All right. I've posted up the uh, the URL onto over your uh, 
bodies there so everybody can see awesome. it right now the million dollar mind map dot com and perhaps that can be just a follow on show that we do down the road and we just talk about the millionaire nice. don't uh, million yeah dollar mind map, i mean it's we it's funny yeah we've been getting some great feedback that's something we did uh i think it's been almost two years ago so Is that right yeah as a you know um as a list building technique or um what's the word i'm looking for tool um just so, something that we could offer people you know and, and it's what we give out on our website in order to g gather people's email addresses. and also if, if somebody new comes to the website it shows up as a hover thing right yeah pop up hover pop up. the dreaded pop-up window yes ah but we love them <laughs> we love them <laughs> that yeah we hate them but they work so good you got to use them <laughs> that's right it's a love-hate relationship that's right, for sure. <laughs> I'm not scared. <laughs> hey, uh, you two have I've often mentioned the law of the tr of attraction as we've been talking here tonight. How does that actually affect your life and business decisions? Are you using it toward those ends? Well, I would say that learning about the law of attraction um, is what prompted us to do this crazy thing of you know, oh, let's abandon our careers and try this new thing because uh yeah i mean it's it really right like that's kind of what got us off oh absolutely this, yeah. you know on this path and that really stemmed from watching the secret i mean for me like uh, you know i can only speak for me but um it just a huge light bulb went off and and I, I mean i can now look back on that movie and say oh yeah there's holes and they don't talk about action and you know there's so many people that will say that about that movie but for me it like it, everything just clicked into place. It's like, ah, oh, so that's why that happened and this happened and my life's done this and this and and I just, you know, it, yeah, I, I had never even heard that term before, law of attraction. So, um, so yes, absolutely. Like that's been the cornerstone of what we do. We, we, you know, I think we said that in our first video. Like we're gonna use the law of attraction to attract all the things, the people, the places, the circumstances into our lives. Um, that we need to, uh, you know, to make this happen. So, right. I'm getting. Are, have you guys lost us? No, we're here. Oh, good. Here. Sorry, just sorry. Reading your Skype conversation there. Um, <laughs> oh. So, uh, so as far as like our business and life decisions, I, I would say, you know, to me, like law of attraction, mindset, faith, they all kind of roll together, and it really is. Uh, what we built our business on and what we have completely changed our lives based on is is just you know creating our own reality instead of just kind of living by default and and you know doing the radio and doing the music because that's what we've always done and that's the only thing we know how to do and we're good at it and it you know it's it's okay right <laughs> what oh no I love I love I love <laughs> I love being surprised by what you're gonna say well, I love that just came out I don't great. know where it yeah. came from but <laughs> anyway it just uh, I yeah. think also, you know, just really quite simply, the law of attraction, the whole concept of it is uh, how it it became a really big deal for me because I um, I was fairly cynical uh, and pessimistic about the music business being able to provide a decent income for my family. So one of the things that the law of attraction shifted for me I mean right after I mean I had always believed in a lot of esoteric woo woo stuff but after we watched The Secret and I don't think The Secret had quite as big an effect on me as it did on Sue but she started finding parking spots that were flawless <laughs> in the middle of incredibly busy parking experience. I think actually I always had I think right. we just started noticing we, that how ridiculous and, you know, it was and it was and it was an amazing thing to me and then as I got into learning more, researching more about what the law of attraction is, I, I started to understand that this whole thing about mindset, and, and it's a very simple concept. If you're in a really good mood and somebody gives you some good information, you're likely to pay attention. If you're in a lousy mood, it doesn't matter what kind of information That's people true. give you, you simply will not pay attention to it, it won't enter you. Uh, and the odds of you being able to benefit from that information are really low. So that's one of the things about uh, the kind of lifestyle that the law of attraction, you know, when you allow it to start becoming part of your daily regimen, you realize that the, the basic premise is like attracts like. So if you're in a foul mood, you're going to attract people around you who are in a foul, me, foul mood. And the most of that has you know if you look at 
the people who are abundance-minded people that are very successful in the world, they're moving. And most of them are really freaky happy. So I, I, that's where I, I just want I, where I want to go. I want to be happy. I, I have no desire to live looking at the world like the world sucks because I couldn't make enough money playing piano. That's I don't I don't want to give that to my kids. I don't want to give that to my friends. I don't want my relationship uh, to have that. I simply want to allow the world to see this happiness thing and that when you are happy, you attract a completely different set of circumstances. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Exactly. Kathy, uh, you know, we've heard, this is our 74th live show, and we have heard mindset mentioned on nearly every one of them. Uh -huh. it's, yeah. It's mind. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, you know, and I think that it's just, it's something that, since we have heard it a lot, that we need to pay attention to it and realize how a shift does make a difference in how we view and how we operate not only our businesses but our lives as well. Well, I mean, I don't know how it is for you guys. I don't, I don't know if you've both had a big shift. It, I had that shift happen. Mm -hmm. I see both of you guys. I mean, the limited amount that we know you, you're both really positive and really upbeat, and it's a pleasure to be here with you. Wow, we feel the same way about you, guarantee. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Well, you know, something I want to ask is, what other techniques do you guys use to create a better life for yourselves? Um, and can the techniques that you use be used in, in a business model or any business model? Well, you know, I mean, we've just had, <laughs> we, we've been through some crazy stuff over the last couple of years. But um, for me, I've um, taken up meditating, which is a very new thing. I, it's been almost a year now. Um, but I get up at 6.15 every morning and I spend almost an hour meditating which I know is longer than is necessary but I just like it's I just love longer. it it's not longer than necessary no like I'm just saying you know what my point is like don't feel like you have to do an hour right. every day like even you know 10-15 minutes is great but I just I just get so much out of it that I do it for longer and I, I yeah. mean like if you had told me a couple years ago even that you know that I'd be meditating oh I would have thought <laughs> you know you're nuts right but so for for me I would say absolutely one of the techniques that I use in in like we really kind of mix our life and business all together it's all kind of become I mean we separate at times but you know it, it has become one and and that's the the best technique I know of for keeping everything on the rails you know like life and business and uh, keeping the faith and and believing in the law of attraction and the mindset and just like that's been a huge one for me I also um, one of the techniques that I also used um, is visualization and um, I mean I'm not sure if these are the kind of techniques you're asking about but for for me that like it it absolutely has helped my business but um, because I had I was very um, kind of self-conscious about getting myself out there. I, I know it might not seem like that. I'm, I'm good to talk and video is good, but like getting out in person has, has kind of made me a bit nervous. And it was because I felt like I needed to lose weight. And um, I, you know, along with diet and exercise changes, but the big thing I did was I, I visualized every day and I had, um, I got somebody to Photoshop my head on Drew Barrymore's body, <laughs> right. oh, fun. and um, <laughs> yeah, and I looked at that every day. So I did my meditating, I did my visualizing with this thing every day, and um, I've lost thirty-five pounds. Wow! So it's you know awesome. I, I I can't you know I, I know that that helped. I mean because I've done I've done many diets and many exercise plans over the years, and the you know the biggest thing that I did differently this time was the visualizing. And it's like I look at this picture now. It's like wait a second, I got to do a new one because like I think I look a little better than that. Like I, I yeah. I've kind of surpassed with that goal now. And it's well, like, I was thinking that the other day. Like, wow, you're, like you're I, hot, I, I, <laughs> I, I just I, I I thought this into my existence, and here I am. It's like wild, wild. So. Um, I mean, yeah, even with the meditating thing, like we, st 
we actually used to sit on the couch together and try to meditate and we it was such a goofy process for us in the beginning that we didn't really know whether we were doing it right and then we actually bought a book called meditating for dummies never really <laughs> got around to reading it but as the as the years have gone by sue has become you know fully willing to integrate meditating into every morning ritual well, you were, a, yeah, because you've been much more open to that kind of stuff. Like you said, the woo-woo, like it all, yeah. like, I just didn't really pay much attention to it until right. recently, right? But the, yeah, it's it's a funny thing about the, the woo-woo stuff. Like, Sue putting the picture of her head on top of Drew Barrymore, like the kids would see that. They have no problem with that, and I have no problem with it either. So, like, if that's something that you would put on a vision board, only somebody would make fun of you for doing it, then I would make sure nobody sees that vision board. That needs to be a private thing for you. But in our house, like that kind of stuff, the kids know about visualizing. We teach them that. Um, one thing that, uh, who was the guy that did the, this thing before bed? Uh, Mark Victor Hansen's partner in the chicken soup? Jack Canfield. Oh, uh, Jack, Jack Canfield. Canfield. Jack Canfield has this awesome little video. Uh, 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 just, uh, just these one minute videos with him in front of a white background and he just spews some really good advice. One advice thing that I got, that, you know, I, I can't tell you that I do it every day, but I do it, and when I do it, I feel really good about it, is I make the list of the day before I go to bed at night. Hmm. And I look at that the, list, the and I say, list. okay, universe, help me handle some of this list. Now, for some people, that's too esoteric, you know. Another thing that I do is is I do tapping. I, I do EFT tapping every morning and every day, either... Uh, either you know halfway through the day I definitely do it every morning before I get out of bed and I've been doing it now for about three weeks and it's just amazing for me I also I quit smoking uh, with doing an EFT tapping session and that happened I did one session and I quit two weeks later effortlessly I did a, another session about uh, alleviating lower back pain from a, you know a car accident I had when I was 17 and it worked like crazy wow. so I, mean, I can't tell anybody else that any one of these techniques is exactly the right thing for them. And I'm hoping at some point I can come up with a kind of, some kind of questionnaire that helps people identify by identifying what problems they want to handle, a list of spiritual techniques that could go after that particular problem in their lives. Because I mean, I love this stuff. I think that everything in life happens as a result of a great mindset, an open-minded mindset, or that you're closed. Uh, to me, everything happens based on that. So, well, And just to get back, like, um, Kathy, you had asked about techniques for business, and I know that really all that stuff that we just talked about is really more about our personal growth and our personal lives. But again, I think that because we do all this, this stuff, you know, in our personal lives, I think that absolutely uh, moves over to our business because it for one I think it's it's I think really the stuff that we just talked about encapsules more the kind of stuff that we're going to be teaching and sharing with people um, we're, we're not really doing that yet but I think that eventually that will definitely that's that, part of that our, we I think that's where we're going yeah. um, but I also think that just um, getting centered and and really going within and learning about yourself and I just think that it really absolutely affects what happens with your business and, and can maybe even make that shift in your life where you realize that whatever the business you're in is not actually what you want and and kind of pushes you towards going you know after what is actually really gonna make you feel fulfilled my goodness you know I, and I think that being entrepreneurs and being entrepreneurial and working from our home space as opposed to being in an office or working for somebody else our businesses become very very personal so I think yeah. that inevitably what it is that we live in our day-to-day -day life and what works for us um, on a personal level certainly lends to uh, what we do in our businesses and success in our business as well so thanks for sharing that yeah, well put oh, Kathy oh. And you know, yeah. you guys, this is our, as I mentioned, our 74th show, I believe. And you guys have just about summarized all of our prior, prior 73 shows on what we <laughs> have learned over those, the course of this time. Yes. And what this is showing to both Kathy and I is you guys don't just walk the walk or talk the talk, you walk the walk. 
And it means that you are listening to people who are successful and following in their footsteps and doing what they do, which is the, yeah. the primary reason most people don't succeed is because they just look at others who succeed and go, oh, they had it handed to them. Or, you know, they take that negative yeah. approach rather than a proactive approach and say, well, what are they doing? Well, you know, that's kind of weird and wacko. I don't think I want to go down that path. Well, okay. How's that working for you? You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So well, I got to say, I mean, I, Sue's maybe not quite as, uh, regimented about it but I just delete people ruthlessly if they're negative and they and they just want to he's talking you know, Facebook you know, by the way. Uh. like I, I just well, I, <laughs> not I, like in I, life I, I not like the stuff in a mouth well. I just I have I don't think that's what I means. have no more energy put into relationships that that cause me to feel like I need to prove something I don't need to prove to, I mean I'm 51 I could give a crap if somebody doesn't believe in the law of attraction anymore. Doesn't matter. I do, and it's working for us. That's that's what's important. Is you know you believe in what works for you, and you, you yeah. stick to it, and and you, that's why you guys are have become so successful. So kudos, awesome job. Thank uh, you. Before we're getting close to the end here, and I want to get this one out on the table. Um, you guys have something going on now called the How to Get the Net. I love that. How to Get the yeah. Net webinar series. Uh, can you tell us about that, what that entails? Yeah, for sure. So, you know, over the last couple of years, we've been teaching the things that we've learned. Um, and, you know, we've been selling kind of bigger, higher priced programs. And uh, there's been a lot of people that have, you know, really wanted to be a part of what we do and learn some stuff from us, but maybe haven't been ready for that big of an investment. So we've started these, um, kind of these one-off webinars where rather than buying, you know, a, a two or three thousand dollar package and learning all this information and, you know, maybe taking a little bit of it and actually putting it to use and just kind of that that feeling of information overload and where to begin, um, we've broken it down into just bite-sized chunks. So if you need to learn about um, Facebook fan pages and how to get that going, what to do on it, then, you know, then you come to the webinar about that. Um, if you need to learn how to make videos, then that's the webinar you choose. Of course, you know, hopefully you'll want to choose a lot of them, but you only need to pick the ones and pay for the ones nice. that you um, that you really need, that you want, that you're gonna like, you know, watch and implement, right? right? I mean, we got a lot of feedback from people that that uh, bought our last Attraction Airs program that like eight or nine months down the road, they were going back to watch the webinars again because it was just so overwhelming at such a fast pace. And we were just we were just doing at the time what we assumed was, oh, this is what people are expecting, what they want, this is what the market will bear. And now what we're realizing is there's a lot of people that just kind of crumble from that sense of overwhelm and they really... They, all they want to do is learn that one thing, get it under their belt, implement it, and feel good about that. Mm -hmm. And so, and rather then than move on to the next you know, thing, right? rather than having them feel like, okay, you got you know twenty more sessions to go, and you're going to graduate. No, no, no. Learn this one thing, see how it works for you. Come back and learn something else after that. I like that kind of an a la carte for entrepreneurs. Exactly. Bingo. Exactly. Very yeah, nice. exactly. So, so uh, we're doing a, a different webinar each week, and then, um, and we've actually just gotten this going. Um, and the whole how to get the net is because all the things that we're teaching are, are, you know, all the different aspects of the internet, the internet marketing, and the social media, and you know, each different piece yeah. that that people need to learn. Um, and then we're going to be able to create them based on what the market needs as well. So the people that you know get into one or two of the webinars, we'll find out from them what else they want to learn and just kind of, you know, cater it to them as well. Maybe do more advanced levels in some areas, just you know, really depending on what people want. Fantastic. That's that's awesome. So that it puts it kind of in bite-sized pieces for individuals. And the other thing is, not everybody needs the same thing. Exactly. So so they can pick and choose so that's love that business model thank you well the trick is you get people to feel more powerful right so if you're selling them something really big and they don't feel powerful then you've weakened them so if you give them just a little bit and they feel powerful then I think that's a really good thing absolutely yeah. interesting approach well you know yeah. what I've got to tell you guys something it and, and I say this every week before we know it it's like the hour is gone Whoosh. I know and, and it's already here but you know the really cool thing you guys have got such phenomenal programs going on 
that like Brian mentioned earlier, we absolutely have to have you back mm -hmm. to talk Please. about some things. But I just want to tell you guys from the bottom of my heart, it's been absolutely fantastic spending this hour with you and sharing with all of our viewers out there all of your expertise, your openness to share not only your successes in your business, but also the things that you do in your personal lives that not everybody shares so much. So thanks so much for putting yourself out there in that way and letting folks know, like Steve said, you know, a little bit of woo. It kind of reminds me of Donny Osmond, Donny and Marie. She's a little bit country and he's a little bit rock and roll, however that yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, just just thanks for, for sharing that with our viewers. And we look forward to having you back again sometime. Brian, back over to you. Yeah, and Kathy always eloquently describes how we feel about our guests. And you are no different. Uh, Sue and Steve, you've been fantastic. Everything about you, we love you guys. You're, you're positive as well. Oh, thanks. And Thank you. You know, very humble, Steve, because, you know, you were telling me earlier that you taught Billy Joel everything he knows. And, you know, you didn't even bring that up on the show. And that was very nice. But uh, <laughs> you, you know, you know just what? the way he, you are, too. Uh, <laughs> there you go. He is, he is amazing. You should uh, you should YouTube him as well. Well, Steve you know, and next show, maybe Anna. we'll have an, an, a little encore performance live for our viewers. That yeah. would be something special. Oh, and by the way, ask, ask them where they're coming in live from tonight. That is right. Where are you coming into us live from tonight? We are in a lovely little town called Vernon, British Columbia, where we are here for the summer. In the middle of the vacation belt in British Columbia. Yeah, it's hot and gorgeous, and there's lakes and mountains and... Uh, lots of lots of fun in the sun. And we're sitting on the back deck of the. Uh, Not house. that you'd know from <laughs> from the lack of tan, <laughs> but but really. <laughs> and we're working yeah. outside. We're spending the the summer working outside. Awesome. And, and I just want to thank Kathy for holding that stoic pose for so long. Oh <laughs> yes, that's and, awesome. And the incredible ability no to speak without really moving her mouth. It was really difficult. Let me tell you, <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, getting a cramp in my neck. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> But uh, thank you once again. We want to honor everyone's uh, time tonight, and we will be back again with a new show. Be sure to click on the register link above uh, to find out automatically when that show is to appear. And uh, be sure once again to click on their noses, one or the other, down below. Or if you're watching this recording, it will be up above. And connect with them on Facebook, definitely. And then also be sure to click on the banner beneath so you can learn more about what these two fantastic individuals have going on because you can see they are doers, not just talkers. Uh, these are truly people we like to be associated with. With, with that, I'd like to say good night to all and we will see you again next week. All right, bye-bye now. Good night, Thank everybody. You. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks.